What up, bloomers? Hey, this is Jacob, aka Jay. And this is Coco, aka, well, it's not really aka Co, I'm just the Co in Jayco. And we are Jayco the Late Bloomers. Now, today we want to go ahead and get into I don't, I don't, this model pose. That's, that's not what we're doing, but uh, we want to go ahead and get into why we're doing this, this whole yeah. video blog series series story thing that Insta, we're doing you too yeah Some all of that internet so this whole late bloomers came about because mm. that's what we are and so definitely coco what do you actually feel about being a, bl a late bloomer what is that to you to me a late bloomer is not everything that is scheduled in life happens to you at the same time as others for instance when i was in high school i said that i was going to be married at 25 with two kids and obviously that did not happen i married later in life and i still don't have any kids so i'm i'm late blooming on that and because you know in in the crowds you're in in life other th people will be having kids or going to their graduations in a late bloomer's life they're just starting on certain things they may be starting their business they may be going back to school it's just not at the same timing as the peers you grew up with or so are surrounded by so you're a late bloomer it is not necessarily a bad thing at all you just bloom late you still bloom you still look beautiful you still smell good you're just vibing a little late you know Hopefully you smell good. Yeah. I mean, because even early bloomers or late bloomers, sometimes it, it's a whole different subject for yeah. a different episode. Anyway, but I want to agree with what she was saying. Like, um, that, that same feeling happened with me with uh, seeing a lot of my friends and a lot of my family um, being able to start businesses at different time or uh, people that I knew growing up, growing up. Um, getting married earlier, much earlier, uh, getting married in their 20s. And when I was in my 20s, you know, I thought I thought that was going to happen for me too, but it did not. And I'm glad I did. It did not. Um, and the same thing with the, with the kids. Um, you know, I thought that would happen earlier in life, but as Coco said, here we are. Um, a little bit, you know, past our early 20s a little bit past our early 20s mm -hmm. yeah yeah and um we don't have any kids um and i will say honestly wait but we are married i don't know if you know we we know each other oh. we're married to each other oh yeah, yeah yeah we're not married to different people oh. i'm married to jacob jacob's oh. married to coco just to establish that just in case we didn't let them know yeah for those that didn't know <laughs> This is my wife. Her name is Korean, a.k.a. Coco, a.k.a. Co, a.k.a. one half of J.Co. Yeah, I'm the other half. The love of my life. But we're whole. <laughs> yeah. That. Not not, not mm. better half. Mm-mm. Great as an individual. Great. Um, Mighty. Like the, like the old, I'm going to say old now because it's 2019, but as the old Neo song said, Neo and Fabulous, those who don't know, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. Ooh. So that's how it is. That's how Jayco is, just in case you didn't know. A force know. to be reckoned with. True story. All right. So back to what we were saying, this, yeah. whole, this whole late bloomers thing, um, when you tend to compare yourself to other people, that's where you get off track. And I know this because I do it myself. When I look at other people and I see where they are in their journey, then I compare it to where I am in mine. Um, and sometimes it'll have me in a mild case of depression or upset with myself or disappointed with myself because or feeling some type of way definitely feeling some kind of way and I think it's natural but the point of us doing this at least to us how I feel about it is we're doing this so other people out there will know that you are not alone not. In, in feeling how you're feeling yeah and to feelings are feelings Feelings lie. They don't always tell the truth. So you gotta, you gotta be able to tell yourself the truth because feelings are there to distract you. They're there to get you off track. So when he has those feelings, we have to tell him, "Hey, your birthday is coming." Meaning, our when we say it's your your birthday is coming, it's like let's celebrate this person's birthday or let's celebrate this person's win because our win is coming. Meaning, we call it the birthday. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. But. To to further go along with that, it's like 
um, when someone you know is having a birthday, their actual birthday, mm -hmm. and you go to their party, you're celebrating them. You're celebrating something that's special for them. You're there, you're smiling, you're, you're having a good time, you're partying mm -hmm. just like with everybody else. But it's not, it's not for you. It's right. not your birthday, not. but you're partying like it is. Yeah. And so we are trying to adopt that. And we actually got that from church. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Agape Christian eh, Ministry. Eh, eh, yeah. Eh. Um, we actually got that from church where we were talking about you, you have to look at life as celebrating other people's birthday because everybody has a season and a time. And if it's somebody else's birthday, mm -hmm. if it's somebody else's birthday when it comes to their job, if it's somebody else's birthday when it comes to um, a relationship or just growing in general, we have to be uh, at a point mature enough that we can celebrate their birthday. It doesn't take away from us. It doesn't diminish what we're doing. Um, it doesn't take us off of our own track because we have our own journey. But we have to be able to celebrate other people's birthday. Amen to that.